if you created the biggest thank you card ever, who would you give it to? You could give it to your parents or grown-ups for making sure you get food to eat, even if it does include broccoli. Then there's your teacher who's patient with you even when decimals seem like a foreign language. Oh, or your coach who gave you another chance even after you made a big error on the field. You could thank your sister or your brother because they make life a lot more fun, even if they do bug you sometimes. Oh, and don't forget the mailman who brings your favorite magazine every month. Or the crossing guard at school who gives you a giant smile every day even when it is way too early. Plus, there's your best friend who sings silly karaoke songs with you. <laughs> Once you get started, there's no end to the list of people you can thank. But there's one name that goes at the top of that list. One name to always remember. No matter what's going on in life, God has graciously given us so much to be thankful for. So many amazing creatures, all totally different. Not to mention every single breath you take. And most of all, we can be thankful for God's promise to make everything right in the end for those who follow Jesus. A promise that we can live forever with God. When you truly take time to consider all you've been given, your heart will begin to fill with gratitude. The more you express that thankfulness, the more others can see God at work in you. They can see how God is with you through every up and down. And that's why gratitude is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Every up and down, I know you're with me Through thick and thin, I know you'll never leave Your perfect peace surrounding me Here and now, I know you see me I am found and you have made me free Nothing can stop your love for me Dear Brandon, can you believe it's November already? 
I'm so glad we've made it through the year to this wonderful season of gratitude. I have so many things to be thankful for. For example, my feet. I can jump, walk, skip, hop, and run thanks to my feet. I'm thankful for pasta. No, pizza. Can you imagine a more perfect food ever created? You can't because there isn't any. I'm also thankful for my family, that cousin I see once a year, my car, your car, the coffee shop around the corner, that one time I won $5 at the fair basketball contest in fifth grade. But most of all, I'm thankful for our friendship. Thank you for being my friend. And as awesome as I am, I can sometimes be very, very, very... Annoying! No, it says oblivious. Welcome to the So It's So Show. I'm Brandon. I'm John. And we're feeling pretty grateful to be here talking with you. Do you know why, John? Is it because we're talking about gratitude this month? Uh, it certainly is. Oh, yeah. There are so many things that I'm grateful for, uh, like this basement studio. Yeah. Can you believe we get to tell funny stories in this tiny little room? I can't believe it. It is tiny. Yeah, are you grateful for it too? Oh, I sure am. You yeah. know. Oh, also for this pen I found. <laughs> oh, actually, that's mine. Oh. Well, thank you. Um, you're welcome. I am so thankful to have friends that lend me their pen. Lend is the key word. I'm also grateful for... Who could that be? Are you expecting anyone? No, you. No, you? Yeah, you just asked me. Huh? Come in. Hello, I'm looking for John. Uh, it's me. <gasps> I have some bad news for you, and Jerry was his name, O-J. Jerry, who's Jerry? Probably one of my fans. Fans? No! What is it? What happened to Jerry? It's not Jerry, it's jury. Oh, that's something entirely different. Uh, I got selected to serve on jury duty in a court. Mm. I'll have to sit in a chair for hours. You can barely do that for five minutes. I know. <laughs> well, you know, at least you can be grateful that you were selected for something special. Yeah. Not everyone gets one of those. I never got one. Well, yeah, that is a good point. You never get chosen for anything. Well, that's not true. You, you think, think it's Jerry? Jerry? Come in! Hello! I'm looking for Brandon! Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> you just got a parking ticket, parking ticket, parking ticket! You just got a parking ticket and your car was towed! What? How could this have happened? Well, it says you parked in the wrong spot. I can read. Then why did you ask me? <sighs> hey, look on the bright side. At least your telegram was much more clear than mine was. Yeah. At least it was clear. I guess. Well, oh, and plus you can be grateful that your car is safe at the tow lot. Think of it as your own private parking space. I guess that is a positive spin. Yeah, yeah, really expensive private parking lot surrounded by barbed wire and chicken wire fences and a, and a Rottweiler where your car won't get towed because it's already towed. Yeah. Whoosh, don't, don't come, come in. in! I heard you say come in! Don't sure come in, don't, D-O-N apostrophe T, don't. What, no envelope? No, this time I have. Good news for you, John and Brandon, news you will enjoy. All right, this is good. The so-and-so show that you love is officially canceled. What? Because you didn't pay your bill! What? What is it, John? I'm scared of the dark. Oh. Well, thankfully, you have a friend who's prepared. <laughs> yeah! oh! oh, clap, clap. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, I'm thankful that we had the time we did have together on this show. Yeah, me too. And I'm thankful we get to sit here in the dark. Why? Because then we get to use these lights. Whoa! Yeah. You know what else I'm thankful for? What? It's Bible story time! Woo! Ooh. Hi, guys. I'm so grateful to be here with you today. Ah, and we're so grateful to have you with us. Did you forget to pay your electricity bill or something? <laughs> yeah, 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 it looks like we did. But I'm grateful to have these awesome lights to help us see. I'm even more grateful that you have a fun verse for us to learn. How'd you guess? Today's verse comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. The Apostle Paul wrote, Give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank Him because you believe in Christ Jesus. This is the perfect verse to start off our season of gratitude. It tells us to be thankful in every circumstance. And now, a word from our sponsor. Sponsor? Gotta pay the bill somehow. Hit it! Has this ever happened to you? Uh, ow. Oh. <laughs> Why not try gratitude? Gratitude is the perfect way to start your day. Just one sip, you'll feel good as new. You know, I'm grateful for having a toe and for having furniture to stub it on. Thanks, gratitude. That looked painful. Yeah, but gratitude saved the day. That's the beauty of gratitude. No matter how painful the situation may be, there's always something we can thank God for. So, in every situation? Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> Try gratitude. Oh, um, thanks, gratitude. Or how about this? Oh, ow, my forehead. Try gratitude. Thanks, gratitude? Or how about this? What? Try gratitude. I don't think that this is helping. Gratitude. It never hurts to have. Gratitude. Why are there so many bees? Um, okay. As entertaining as those commercials were, gratitude isn't always going to come easy. And you won't find it in a bottle. We can't just purchase it. But we can ask God to give us the strength to be grateful, even when it doesn't make sense. One thing those commercials were right about, it never hurts to have gratitude. So we can find something to feel grateful for anytime, like now? Of course! Like, I know things are looking a little dark where you are, but at least you get to spend time with friends and talk about God together. Oh! And we can be grateful that our sponsor helped us pay our bill! So we're not canceled! Doesn't look like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, guys! You see, we always have a reason to be grateful. And remember this. No matter how good or bad things might be for you, you can always be grateful that Jesus loves you and that God sent Jesus to save us. Definitely. Let's take a look at our verse one more time. Give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank him because you believe in Christ Jesus. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. This is a pretty tasty treat. Uh, who knew gratitude could taste so good? Me. You know, I'm pretty grateful for friends who share. Yeah, me too. <sighs> oh. Reveal the question. 
What are you grateful for? Hmm. Well, I was grateful for friends who share, but I guess I need to find one first. Aw, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, Brandon. It sounded like you could use some gratitude. In all sincerity, I really am grateful to have you as my friend, Brandon. Thanks, John, same. And what are you grateful for? Think on it. Talk to someone about it. And we'll see you next time. I'm John. I'm Brandon, and that's The, the So-and-So so Show. Hello! Hide. Hello! I can hear you hiding. No, she can't. This is the end. This, this is, is the, the end. end of the so and so show. Of, of the so and so show. Not the whole thing. Not the whole thing. Just an episode. Just an episode. This, this is the end of the so and so show. Not the whole thing. Just an episode. Hey! This is the end. This is the end of the so and so show. very good. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm, here you go. <laughs>